Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. What are the odds we'll see these characters again? Let's discuss the fate of every Guardian. So, since Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is the third and final chapter of James Gunn's fan favourite MCU trilogy, we all expected some Guardians to sacrifice their lives in their last adventure. And surprisingly, though, by the time the credits roll, all the Guardians are alive and well planning their next cosmic adventure. But that doesn't mean we'll see these characters again. And as James Gunn gave every single core member of the team a new purpose that might keep them out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and with many of the stars of the Guardians of the Galaxy expressing their wishes to retire from the MCU, Gunn made the right choice to use the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 as a swan song for the entire team. But that doesn't mean we have to say goodbye to all the Guardians forever as there are new stories to tell about these characters. So now that we know how the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 ends, let's discuss the odds of seeing each main Guardian again. So Chris Pratt as Star-Lord, will he return? So the only Guardian to be confirmed to return to the MCU, or hopefully return to the MCU, is Chris Pratt as Star-Lord. Uh, Marvel likes to end their movies with the promise of our heroes that they will come back at, at some point, maybe in, let's say, um, an Avengers, maybe, let's say, another Avengers movie, or let's say Kang Dynasty, where they all team up. Uh, so when the Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Volume 3, promises that the legendary Star-Lord will return, we can be confident that the Marvel Studios has already probably planned Chris Pratt's next adventure. And maybe we'll get a solo movie of Star-Lord, or perhaps he'll return for Avengers Secret Wars, considering Peter Quill's comic history. We've also got Bradley Cooper's Rocket Raccoon will likely bring the Guardians back. So while Marvel Studios only promises Star-Lord's return, it is hard to believe that Rocket Raccoon, voiced by Bradley Cooper, won't eventually come back in the movie or the TV show. Uh, at the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Rocket becomes the captain of the new Guardians of the Galaxy team, which includes Groot, voiced by Vin Diesel, and Kraglin, played by Sean Gunn. So considering the financial success of the franchise, it's likely that Marvel Studios will try and bring Rocket's team back. In addition, Rocket's team includes Will Poulter's Adam Warlock and Maria Bokalova's Cosmo, the Space Dog. So possibly this could be Rocket Raccoon's uh, next chapter, bringing them back. For another movie. Groot, voiced by Vin Diesel. And of course, if Rocket returns, then we also know that Groot will definitely be part of the project to come back as well. Groot and Rocket, they have been unbreakable since the first movie in the Gun Trilogy, and they work really well together. And, you know, they've kind of got that connection, and, you know, the, the screen presence together is amazing. They play off each other really great. So we would definitely expect Vin Diesel as Groot to come back for the next Guardians of the Galaxy. Gamora, could she be back? Well, Zoe Zaldana is done with the MCU. She has already expressed her desire to see the character recast in the MCU. And thanks to the multiverse, that wouldn't be a hard trick to pull. While the variants of Stephen Strange in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness were played by Benedict Cumberbatch, three different actors played Peter Parker in the Spider-Man No Way Home. So we know that that could be a possibility that she could return uh, under the banner of a new actor as we know that Zoe wants to get out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's quite interesting. Dave Bautista... Well, we know Dave Bautista played Drax and he is unlikely to return. Uh, he's definitely been vocal about retiring from Drax after Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in addition. And Guardians of the Galaxy 3 does underline how Drax was not born to be a destroyer, but a dad. So Drax got his happy ending by raising the children created by the high evolutionary in the nowhere. So I think it's fitting to let the for Drax to lay down the sword and pick up the bottle. We don't think he'll ever be coming back to the MCU. Karen Giller wants to keep playing Nebula. So while Drax's happy ending is shared with Nebula, who also stays in the nowhere to raise the children, Gillian has never shown any interest in retiring. 
from the previous comments. So we can infer that Julian is at peace with the idea of Nebula's last appearance, but possibly with her not saying that she doesn't want to leave the MCU, maybe she could make a return, you know, especially if the next Guardians of the Galaxy flops, they'll need to get some of the OG cast back in there. Also, Mantis, what do we know? Will she return? So while most Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is talked about their last post MCU of their desire to remain in the franchise, the actor Pom Clementif has stayed relatively silent about where she wants to take Mantis next. So this could be a possibility for the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 4, or maybe she could make her way into some other movie. We're not quite sure but we're excited to see where her character will go. What do you think about this? Do you think that these characters will end up somewhere different in Guardians of the Galaxy 4? Will some make a return? Will some not? Please let us know in the comments below. I appreciate your support. It goes a long way at the moment, so thank you for that. And stay in touch, stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.